Hello, welcome, my name is Emily and this will be a very short empties and news video because I haven't that much at all, which is kind of nice, at least for the news part of things, uh, but I don't have many empties either, but I'm gonna go through them so I can throw them away uh, where they're they are supposed to be thrown away. And yeah, uh, I have two, three hair products. Uh, this one, the Vision Hair Care Styling Spray. Um, this was a big one, 400 milliliters. Uh, it's nice if you like a very soft hairspray. And I like to build volume with the hairspray if it's a soft one. So uh, for me, it was fine. Uh, I didn't like the big, like um, the wide <laughs> bottle because sometimes it's hard to spray uh, if you're a little bit wet on your hands or something. So for that, I didn't like it. So I I'm, I'm, will probably not buy that again. I have another thing that I, it was my hair dresser that, uh, uh, bought that to me and she have selected a, a, something else for me now so I have bought a new one then we have this one the scalp serum intensive scalp treatment tea tree oil Australian body care this felt very nice to put on the scalp and it was supposed to be there for I think like 10 minutes it was very cooling which I appreciate I'm not sure if it did anything this kind of product is hard to see results just with one bottle like this so i'm not going to buy it again i don't think but if i get it i'm going to use it so that's that and i have a uh, batiste dry shampoo natural and light in bear um, i have started to use these dry shampoos again i had a long period of time that i didn't use them because i thought they clogged my um, pores, my hair pores, uh, follicles or whatever you say, uh, but now I'm using it again and I, I'm noticing that I get like pimples like in my hair, in my scalp, but I'm going to use it anyway because I, I like these kind of product products. And this is a nice scent and Batiste is the best brand, I think, for dry shampoo. Then we have one body product, body product, no, one more for the hair, sorry. I have this Philip Kingsley Styling Finishing Touch Polishing Serum, this little thing that I got in a subscription box, I think. And it was a nice kind of jelly product that I, I tend to use um, products like this in my hair ends to get them a bit more put together not like frizzy and I like that so this was kind of nice maybe I will buy that again sometime we will see one body care as I said and the, that is this barning and midsummer or mi midsummer midsummer glow shower and bath gel which I really didn't like uh, last year I was very close to um, buy uh, several of these and I'm so glad I only bought one and uh, this had a very intense scent and it was so overwhelming uh, flowery and I did not like this as a shower gel it was fine but ooh, I it was too strong then we have two three face products uh, we have this excellent lashes foam cleanser eyelashes and face with aloe vera did not like this either and this took me a long time to finish i bought this from the the girl who does my eyelashes extensions and she didn't like it either actually but when i bought it she did so i don't know i'm not gonna buy this again um you could use it all over your face and I did in, in the end I think because I just wanted it gone but it was a big bottle of not the, the best product we have this the pixie uh, skin treats dreamy mist jasmine and lavender which I used as a night ritual uh, if you want uh, like a calming uh, spray before going to bed 
and it was kind of nice. I, I'm not sure I'm gonna buy it again, but I like the idea of these kind of products. And it smelled nice, and it's um, lavender is supposed to be calming. So yeah, it was kind of nice, but I'm not sure. And then we have the Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Oil Face Gel Cream. This one, uh, which I've had in my collection for a long time, and I finally used it up. And this was nice, you can't see, but it was a, like a jelly, or maybe you could jelly type of cream, which I really like. So this took me a month to use up. Oil-free gel cream, yeah. Um, so if I get this in some form, I will gladly use it. I'm not sure I'm gonna buy it again, we will see, but that was that. And then we have two makeup products. We have this MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus, a small bottle. I'm not sure if this, maybe this was just a bottle that I put a big bottle in. I poured it over to this one, I don't remember. Uh, but I have a new small bottle, so I, I might just throw this away. Uh, I only need one small bottle for travels, so maybe I didn't use this up, I don't remember. And I have a lip gloss from Colourpop, the Ultra Glossy Lip in Space Maker. This one, and you can see it's very strange down here. I think this was coloured by the sun some way, or bleached by the sun. Uh, it was standing here on my table and the sun is very intense here in this room. So I wanted to use it up before it went, went bad. It wasn't bad, but I can't get to that product in the bottom i took at the stopper but it doesn't the brush doesn't reach down there and i'm kind of glad it doesn't because i don't want to use that beige yellowy thing down there but i liked it a lot i the consistency of that um, gloss was very nice but i don't like the brush mostly because it pulled out too much product in the beginning of the journey with this gloss uh, but a brush is not that accurate when you're placing it on the lips it's better with a doe foot or something so we will see but i like the product itself so that was all my empties and i only have two news uh, i finally bought a new philorga laboratories time flash express smoothing active primer finally I'm going to show you it. This is my favorite primer. If you have seen any of my videos, I think you know that because I always talk about this. Um, I think it's so good and I found it on a, for a good price. It looks like this. And now I can finish the old one. <laughs> uh, so I, Because I have a new one. And the other thing I got for free when I bought this from um, a shop called Ahead. I'm not sure, I have never bought from them before. I bought something else, but that wasn't very interesting to show you. I don't even remember what it was. But I got this little young blood press individual, individual eyeshadow. And I really don't need more eyeshadows, but I got this for free and maybe I can give it away to someone. Who knows? We will see. Uh, have I swatched it? No, I haven't. It's a grey one. And I think I'm going to, because if I'm giving it away, I only give it to someone I know. So they don't mind if I put my finger in it. So that is the shade and I would probably don't, I don't need this. I have another, at least one other grey single and lots of other greys in palettes of course. So that will may be a present for someone. And that was it. Not much, but it's so nice to do the, this video I think because I can throw everything away. I like that. And um, yeah, uh, if you don't subscribe, please do and uh, see you in another video. Bye bye.